West Ham fan TV. We've moved again, Dave. We've, we've, we've moved all over the gaff today. But, um, mate, what a victory that was. Oh, it was, do you know, it was, I've been saying for years, I mean, I grew up south of the water. I've never really got the whole Tottenham thing. But every gooner I've ever known has just had an unbearable streak about them. So every time we beat them, it's it's fucking glorious. Pardon yeah. my French. It's, it's, it's not it. often we beat them, is it? So when we get a win, I think the last time we beat them, yeah, Declan Rice scored the winner for us. Yeah, and it's not just that. It just you know, it's, it's one thing to do it in in a sort of like in a, in a cut. Obviously, I mean, this is the fourth of our priorities. It's probably fourth of their priorities as well. To be fair, but we made changes. They made changes. We just outclassed them. It was just from start to finish. They just they couldn't get in a game. And even when they brought their big hitters on, when Martinelli came on, when Saka came on, Erdegaard, Rice, none of them had any impact. You know, they was... They was uh, yeah, who, who stood out for you? I know a lot of people have said about Kudus tonight, but Jared Bowen, for me, I thought, stepped it up tonight. He looked like he had something to prove tonight. Do you know, I've, it, I agree, I agree. I thought Bowen was, was class. Um, if his right foot was as good as his left, he'd win a Ballon d'Or. But, uh, you know, the times that he just goes through and you like just hit it and he always tries to just shuffle it across and, you know, if he, if he had a right foot, I mean, the guy would be genuinely world class for me. I, I mean, Maripanos today, I thought he had a really good game. Do you think he might have played his way into the team for Saturday? I don't know. Um, I, I thought he played all right. He went on that marauding run, didn't he, in the first half where yeah. you just thought... Hello, because he's, he's apparently he's got his reputation with tonking in long shots in Germany. And you thought, is he about a bit of screamer? You know, right in front of the Arsenal fans. But I, I, I don't know about Mabry. I'm still not wholly convinced on him. I still I still look at him and think there are times when he, he does unbelievable. You know, he makes these unbelievable tackles, and there are times when you just think his position looks a bit off and he looks a bit a little bit slow. I mean, I, I hope so. I, I don't know why Zuma was absent tonight. I don't think. Either of our centre eyes, to be fair, our centre eyes been a problem all season, Zuma and Aguad. So something's got to change somewhere because we keep conceding goals from players, yeah, if you want to go back to Sunday and Calvert Lewin, he just turned inside Zuma, Aguad was nowhere to be seen, and again, he's gone between two defenders and scored. And that's where, I mean, tonight's goal, it didn't matter. The game was done. Yeah. You know, like we, we know the guy scores, which 3 0 or 3 1 in a cup game doesn't make her. It's a shame we concede that, but if you're going to concede it, I don't mind conceding the 95th minute when we're 3 0 up. No, and, and you know, I'm sure both the Arsenal fans that were there at the end really enjoyed it as well. So, <laughs> but um, look, can we win it? Can we win this competition? Ask, ask me in about 45 minutes when the draw. I'll tell you, we're, we're going to get Port Valley in the draw because I wasted the journey up there to complete the 92 on Saturday. So it's just Sod's Law that. You know, I, I could have saved the trip and, and done it in with West Ham. Um, let's see what the draw for it. So that's the beauty of cup competition. I think Man United are going out. If we can get a home draw, I don't think there's anyone left in the competition at home. I wouldn't. The thing is, with, with, this, with this competition, when Manchester City go out, everyone thinks, right, we've got a chance. And to come here tonight, because the last round we scraped through against Lincoln, tonight we've put on a performance and there's got to be a lot of confidence going forward. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you could avoid... I mean, who's, who's in it at the big boys? Newcastle, Liverpool, Chelsea. And any of them here, I'd take. Mm. So, it's no reason why we can't. We just... We just don't really... I, I don't really want one of them away. That's, yeah. you know, that's, that's when it gets a little bit tricky. And you go, ooh, you got to win them. But at home, with home advantage, you know, a big crowd behind us like tonight. Yeah, I'm back at us. Before before we go, we've got to mention obviously Declan Rice. Um, what was your feelings? You know, did you clap him? Did you boo him? Or did you just not acknowledge him? I, I didn't. When he came on, I thought it was really weird because like before the game, his name got read out, and there was a few boos and a few claps, and you're like, mm, all right. and then when he came on, there was a bit of a stand ovation. I thought, hang on, has he put a West Ham shirt back on? Because <laughs> like, but no, I, I didn't clap. I didn't boo. I just. He signed up. Yeah, he, he should have done. Yeah, he, he must have an allergy to silverware. You know, that's, that could explain why he's gone to Arsenal. But uh, Dave, mate, it's always good to see you, mate. Thanks right, for stopping. Thanks for staying behind. And uh, yeah, see. You